Okay, so before we get into area of a circle, there's a couple of things I want to review. Um, R stands for radius, and what radius is? Radius is halfway across the circle, so this is radius. R equals radius. So for some of these problems, they're going to give you the length halfway across the circle, which is R, which will get plugged into here. And then the other thing that you need to know is that all the way across the circle through the center is diameter. Diameter is all the way across the circle. D equals diameter. Okay, so we're going to be using this equation, area equals pi r squared. Um, sometimes they'll have you use the pi button in the calculator to solve this equation. Um, other times in the problem, they'll say use 3.14 for pi. Um, and in this problem, they say use 3.14 for pi. So for this equation, area equals 3.14 radius squared. Okay, so of course I'm going to want you to show your work. There's a specific way I'm going to have you show your work. So we're going to be using this equation the whole time. There's also some Alex practice on this too. So if you feel confident with this afterwards, I would do that on Alex. Um, so number one, it shows us a circle. It shows us halfway across, so that would be radius. So R equals three centimeters. And so the way I want you to set this up is area equals 3.14, 3 squared. And then solving this, we have to make sure to use order of operations. So we're going to do this exponent first. 3 times 3 would be 9. And then multiply these two numbers. And it comes out to... 28.26. So in a calculator, just 3.14 times 9 comes out to 28.26 centimeters squared. So that's the area of that circle. Okay, so number two, we're going to just run through the steps one more time. In each problem, we need to have these three lines of work. So for number two, with me. Area equals 3.14. The radius here is 4 squared. Four squared is like four times four, which is 16. And then multiply these two numbers in a calculator and it comes out to 50.24. I'll have you guys get up to get calculators in a second. I'm just going to do these problems with you. So that way everybody's on the same page. Okay, and then we're going to skip number three because I think we got that. Number four is a little bit different because they don't show you a picture. They just tell you that the radius is two centimeters. So we're still going to do it the same way. Area equals three 0.14, the radius 2 squared. So then write it down 3.14, 2 squared, 2 times 2 would be 4. So then the area, 3.14 times 4 is 12.56 centimeters squared. Okay, and then from there, I'm going to skip down to the bottom portion. So in this top portion, it gives you the radius. So when you're doing this, you can just plug that number right into the equation like we did. On the bottom portion, it gives you diameter. So diameter is all the way across. And the way we go from diameter to radius is we just divide by 2. So the radius equals 7 inches here.
And then once you have the radius, you can plug it into the equation and use it the same way. So area equals 3.147 squared. Dot. 7 squared would be 49. Multiply these two numbers and we get 153.86 inches squared. Thirteen. Am I going too fast? Too slow. Ready for the next one? Okay, we're going to skip down to 13. It tells us diameter equals 16. It doesn't show us a picture. Um, we divide this by 2 to get the radius. So halfway across would be 8 feet. And then area equals 3.148 squared. 64 times 3.14. Multiply these two numbers and it comes out to 200.96 feet squared. Okay, so for each problem, you need to have the work shown. If you run out of room, you can use the like um, this side over here. There's plenty of space over here to show work if you need to. And then also just a way to check your work as you go is to fill out the puzzle. So I'm going to zoom out here so you can see the puzzle. Um, all of the top answers will be in this left column and all the bottom answers will be in this right column. And so what you do is as you get a correct answer, so this one said 28.26, I'm looking for it over here. It is I, so one I, and I just put an I down here. Number two, 50.24, I'm looking for it over here. Look, it's O, so two, O. Number four, 12.56, it's right here. And it just shows like a colored in dot. So for four, I'll just color in the dot. Cause that's gonna be a space in between words. And then number 10, these answers will be over here. So number 10, 53.86 is T. And then 13, Y. Okay, and that's just all. So what I need you to do is to finish this here, get my instructions. So your to-do list is to complete this worksheet, show all your work and turn it in. When you're done with that, um, grab a laptop and start your weekly Alex on a laptop. So go ahead and grab a